Hello, hello everyone. My name is Kiribaku, and I am your host and your void with a voice for this yapping talk shows that I created for this particular things that I just like to chat about stuff. So sometimes I just like do a long chat, do a short chat. But today program is going to be a little bit different. Um, usually I talk about what happening this week, but we also have something very very special going on here. Uh. Some people might actually know. Some people might still not really aware. Um, I'm in the TCG. <laughs> uh, yes, like, um, not just I'm in the TCG. It's like, um, it's like entire TCG that surrounding around Malaysian VTuber, which is uh, like a lots of things going on in there. Um, if anyone who is visiting. Uh, the anime manga key for the twenty twenty four, and that will held up Malaysia's. Um, you can try to find a booth called like V Daishos, and uh, it's right beside Project Orbit. Uh, as you guys already can see, and here um, they are doing a very very like special launch that is kind of like show everyone in the card what kind of card they have. Uh, they. Teach you how to play the game card, this and that other stuff. So I'm just going to do a very like hyper specific yap and review every one card that have been reviewed so far. I would want to hold it off until I met uh, when, until they like finish everything. But uh, I, I, I like to, yapping show is like every like specific time. So uh, I can't wait for everyone manage but still like it it got out almost like every VP member which is a good thing um, so I can specifically show uh, the VP member and some of the VIP that has been show uh, so far at the moment uh, to let you guys get excited for this very special card game that is going to come out specially and also support uh, all the VTuber that is like within this like particular like you know uh involvement in this uh Vida show is here I can show is created by one of the Malaysian VTuber group is called the Slice of Six Crew and they want to create a card game that revolve around every uh, every Malaysian VTuber as you can see it's, it's similar to somewhat of a rock paper, rock paper scissors like style like um, card game as you kind of see like VTuber Dimension Showdown V Die Show and you can see like quite a lot of different cards already have been made uh, why that like all the slice of six characters and uh, stuff like that and uh, as you already can see like Vidashu is a very quick 1v1 trading card game with like um, they, they actually specially craft how to play this game properly uh, you have the standard like a uh, three row of card and you have the summoner spell this kind of things um, do they have spell? I kind of forgot <laughs> I'm, I'm a very bad listener <laughs> Um, um, you know, you know what, you know what, anyone from the size of six, like, watching this video right now, um, if you guys want, you can write down some of the gameplay instructions out, uh, right underneath, like, especially the part that I messed up, or I say I just don't know. <laughs> like, aside from that, yes, 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 just, uh, let's move along to the next page thingy so you will build your like vtuber army like consistent like three main trinities and then seven unique class uh what would you share three main trinities basically they there is like um frontliner that is like the attacker and then there's the rangers so it's basically uh there will be uh card that's for tanking stuff there's a card for it's basically at the end uh, you can say it's like uh, a very interesting way to do like a rock paper scissors because among the scissors there's like three more different type of scissors can can fight off each other scissors and then you have a very uh, a various different type of paper uh, maybe like the uh, hard papers or like photo papers <laughs> like, <laughs> like uh, all these three different papers had different qualities and then they will also beat up each other's up but why at that there's also the rock rock is just a rock so it, it beats everything almost 
kind of. <laughs> uh, so like it functions a little bit like that. So that's a lot of like fun way for you to like play out the strategies. Like uh, what kind of like deck you have built for this, like or what kind of card you have in your hand, uh, so you can deal with what type of specific like strategies you can do for it. It's actually pretty fun. I saw them play, uh, like do a demo play for it. It's actually um, quite interesting, quite interesting. And as you can see, let's say it's a um, rock, paper, uh, no, 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 this is the rock. Rock, paper, scissors. So yeah, this this is generally this is the paper, this is the rock, this is the scissors. Because here's the thing, like the paper can beat the beat the rock, and then rock can beat the scissors. But while at the same time you can use uh, various different um, scissors, like marksman, sorcerer, for foreigner. It's basically it's like a very specific pre type of class. It's basically um, the. Sorcerer is like the spellcaster, Foreigner is like the um, super phenomenal ma magic type or like in some like very... It's basically uh, uh, when it comes to VTuber there's a lots of like different um, VTuber with like some is just like having unknown origins that they can just like snap a finger, people just disappear. <laughs> like those kind of things. So and then there's Marksman. Well, your general archer class, and let's hope they are not holding any like uh, two-handed weapons. Like, imagine like someone literally have a card that is like holding two-handed sword, and then they are in the maximum. <laughs> uh, that 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 would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. That that is some fate state. Like um, uh, that that basically is some fate series. <laughs> Gag there, and. Yeah, and the middle guard one, and you can see is the fighters, artificers, rogue, those kind of classes in there. And as you already can see, like yeah, uh, it's a little bit D and D in here, uh, a little bit much more D and D is in this type of side. You have the your general fighter, general rogue, general artificers. Um, uh, who put artificers in the middle guard? <laughs> well, technically they can. To be honest, if you have a gun, you can be in anywhere. <laughs> Uh, it depends, depends. Uh, oh, oh well, I, I, I related the, um, I related the, what again? Uh, IAU, the D&D &D a little bit too much, the artifices, they might function a little bit differently. But again, there's the bread and butters, just the defenders. Yeah, defenders is basically that they don't give a shit who you are, they, they're just going to punch your shit out of the rear guard if they manage to go in. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron, 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 Aaron. I should later on also review something to you. Uh, all right. And yeah, this is like the very like special like thingy that you guys are seeing there. Um, it's actually pretty fun. Ooh, now they have a new one out. So I have to open that one, two, uh, at the very, very back here. So yep. Uh, I accidentally reviewed something, but still, um, 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 hope it's not too loud. <laughs> uh, what I can hear is a little bit kind of loud, so I'm just going to boost down the volume a little bit to be a much more reasonable volume, because everyone has like a little bit different mic, so we end up have a different voice line. So it's basically this, uh, we they do a release and then like put the characters out and then they have like this like uh, voice line in. I actually have a voice line in. I, I, I will not put my voice line as the first because it's just going to be a little bit weird. So I'm just going to show the rest of the BP member first as much as I can because like some of the arrangements got like um, jumbled and mixed up. So some Project Orbit is in there, like Project uh, Hikayat is there, uh, some like special like um, more of the stand-up VIP VTuber is in there. Uh, I'm not really sure it's VIP VTuber, but it's more, more of the stand-up VTuber is also in there too. And I can tell you one thing, I actually do not know too much about every other VTuber because I'm, I'm not really in the Malaysian VTuber circle that long. I only recently know 
most of the people in that because I don't watch VTuber while being a VTuber. <laughs> like the best I just watch it most of the time is just eating a clip or like some Hololive clip. And I don't really even watch live stream for other streamer too. So <laughs> uh, I I'm more of a content, cr content creator than a streamer most of the time. Uh, you know. And okay, okay, let's let's uh, let's have enough yapping and just move along uh, to this particular part. Uh, the first one we are going to show is called Meow Machiro, and this is a card and her voice line. <laughs> you should daily dose of vitamin C. So this is a card, as you can see, she is a Defenders! Also, it's a Vanguard, so uh, I'm putting her right in front, and how tanky she is. <laughs> and of course, uh, she's an uh, independent VTuber, and as everyone can actually see a little bit of this thing, like, uh, not just their artwork, their like, characters, their calling, uh, the alias, not calling. <laughs> And you can already see this like QR code here. This QR code here is actually led to our channel. So if anyone bought the card, they kind of like see like this. Oh, this character is interesting. And then they can uh, scan the QR code and go to the channel that way. Aha, such an innovative idea, right? And let's uh, move on to the next characters. Uh, we are already shown the defenders here. Uh, let's see who is going to be the next one. Some biscuits? Ah. So, this is Nairo. Nairo Pel. Uh, Paletti? Paletti. Sorry, I'm, I bought your name, but still. Uh, I just call it Nairo. <laughs> Hello there, Nairo, the angel uh, munching cat. Hmm. Actually, this is a very interesting design and everything. Um, also, a very nice art card uh, at the same time. Uh, as you can see, see, she's the rear guard, the foreigner class. Uh, basically, the vanguard uh, can beat her. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, if you play a uh, Mio card and then just attack her, she can just get annihilated. <laughs> and then imagine, like, that baby. Like that. Uh, uh, the, the the most famous like baby fi uh, baby powdered face. Ah! <laughs> uh, all right, <laughs> let's move on to the next one. And as you guys can see, on the next one is. I'm gonna serve you the milk bar way. Cow girl style, and she's a rogue class. <laughs> uh, that, that's a little bit interesting. And yes, as you again, like uh, this is Honey M Arts, um, also called Honey Arts. Uh, for some reasons, I keep botch up her name every single time I call her. I just call her Heinz Art for some reason. She's not the Heinz Ketchup. I, 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 for some reason, I have dyslexia, okay? <laughs> I keep reading Heinz instead of Honey's, okay? <laughs> um, Alright, uh, yeah, as you can see, like, Honey's and Arts. And it's a Calico Milk Barista. So she. Uh, is a barista in a milk bar that will serve you uh, milk. What kind of milk? I have no idea. <laughs> you, have, you have to go to that channel also. Mm, mm, mm. And then, how about the next one? Your fellow uptown lowlife. Has arrived. Ooh, deep voice you have there. And this is Cornelius Low, uh, your fellow unknown low life here. And what that is, her, that is his <laughs> uh, title, of course. He is a wrestler. 
and a butler. So, to be honest, I have no idea what his whip is for, but still, <laughs> it's his fighter weapon, of course. Uh, again, this is again. Um, uh, he's a mid. Uh, what again? Like middle guard? Yes. Uh, he's middle guard, and also again, like as a showcase for so far, everyone is an indie VTuber. Here. Yes, this uh, Vida show also like instead of also like doing agency VTuber, they also like do a lot for indie VTuber too. This is a very good like call out way. Again, if anyone like interesting at what kind of content they do, as you can see, the QR code is here. You can already try to take like a sneak snap, I guess. Like, nah. It's a video. It's a video among a video, so it's not like a very good quality. You can't actually snap it that way. So if anyone really are interesting in uh, their content here, you can see their card and stuff. And I would, of course, put it in the comment sections. Uh, pin it up for you guys to click into it and find each individual character and stuff. Or you guys can go to Vita Show and keep pay attention to the next update of the next card. That there is a, so many people still haven't released yet. I only managed to like if you see like all oh, this entire tab, it's just a it's just a fraction of it to be honest. Um, so like that that is a, like a lots of people. It's a very big project. So you guys, uh, anyone who want to support every single um every single like um specific like vtuber you like when you go to the animanga key find a booth you can actually if you see closely you can use their code uh to get a discount and then uh not just a discount you also put in some money to uh, additional money to support that particular vtuber that you are supporting too so find uh if Pay attention to Vita Show like uh, update. They been like uh, updating everything every day, uh, card one by one. So you guys can be quite anticipating and everything. And remember to share everything like I'm doing now. I'm doing now. I'm doing now. I'm doing now. Okay. Uh, I will share most of it. Uh, I'm loving it uh, here. Oh. All right. Again, so like. Uh, if you just click into the Vidashio like uh, main channel, then you can find the code or the your particular um, VTuber. They will also like share that code out, so they you can use that to you know you know you know help them out, help them out, give them a little bit of support, like those kind of things. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's move on to the next one. Okay. I hate the autoplay actually. No matter how it is, I will always push through with my brave heart. Ooh. Booming. And as you can see, this is Inuzuka Azusu uh, Asuzu. It's, it's a little bit hard. Um again, let me uh, I botch it. Let me let me redo it again, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Retake, retake. Yeah. Imagine it, nothing happened. Inuzuka Asuzu. He's also another independent video, but also affiliated with VP. Of course, like most of the people I show is actually affiliated to VP. So, uh, if anyone also like interesting, uh, what we do to do, pay attention to VP activities that you guys will manage to see us doing a little bit this, a little bit that, icebreaking stuff, have some fun, and then do some campaign stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, let's move to the next next one. But I oh, before that, I do want to say that. Ooh, the armors is actually very kick-ass. Like, um, I've been told that the uh, the the the, the armors actually they they somehow like uh, got went overboard with it. <laughs> what a drawing that they got they got too into it and then draw like a very kick-ass armor. Now it's it's a good thing, of course. And yeah, like uh, he also have a calling title. It's called Hero Advance. So yeah, he's basically is a hero class, advanced hero class. Hmm, interesting actually. Never, never know hero class have a second, uh, se you know, secondary upgrade job. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Do 
咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚咚。Hello, Night Dweller. Back again to Best in the Moon's Glow, huh? Who are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 well we we chat together a few times, so hmm, hmm. This is certainly a very particular tone of voice I first time hear. Hmm, hmm. <laughs> If anyone like remember, actually I showed his um, uh, his special like trailer. For his channel, uh, featuring his channel and stuff before. So if you guys are like wondering, uh, what who Haru is, as you kind of can see, he's like YouTube stuff. Ah, yes, this is his opening like things. No, no, no. That that that's like the full video is here. Like in here, that is like basically he talking about like his content and stuff. Vampires, demons, and coffee. If come to the right place. This is Haru de Luna, a demonic vampire. He's the owner of this fight. To be honest, he has a kick-ass editing skill. This, this is, I'm not kidding. Ah, uh, I'm very lazy to editing stuff. Like the thing he does is like very impressive. Ah, uh, okay. And as you already can see, independent VTuber, also VP Mark here, the Mark of VP. As most people, you guys know, said. Yeah. Later on, you guys will notice like that there, there are some people who have their own mark and stuff. VP, VP is um basically have a little bit uh special mark in there. They they added in for fun. It's, it's actually pretty good. Um, again, he is the vampire prince, and trust me, this is not blood. This is uh Rebina. <laughs> Yes, if if nobody know what Rebina is, like um um, well I I guess I can edit and put a Rebina in here already. Uh, if you guys didn't see that Rebina, then I'm sorry, I'm too lazy to put anything in there. <laughs> it's it's night time. I took a nap at I took an afternoon nap and oh slap, okay. I don't really I don't really have lots of time to edit. All right, let's go for the next one. And. Ooh, it's Minoru. Stand by, Trevor. Go, Henshin. Cha cha. <laughs> yeah, the 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 cha cha is like perfect moment. <laughs> so as you can see, this is Minoru Itokun as uh. As you guys already can see in here, um, he's a multiverse traveler. So basically, it's an isekai characters. <laughs> and yeah, this this is basically a com. Uh, they he is doing the common rider pose uh, to do like a lot of things. And here's the thing, like um, I'm not exactly watch a lot of like modern common rider. I only watch Black RX, and I still feel like Black RX is still the best one. <laughs> Fight me on that, okay? And also the best opening too. Again, fight me on that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's keep on moving along because it's been a quite a long time. It's already like holy moly! It's already twenty minute mark. And let's go for the next one. Um, I yap a little too much, to be honest. Um, so this is misery. Remember to hydrate, honeys. Don't dehydrate. Hmm. Particular quote. Quote. Um. Here's the thing. Speaking about hydrate. Yes, I'm drinking some water. Thanks for the advice, Mizu. <laughs> All right. Let's go here. Uh, again, her name is Miziori, and she is a bride in the wave. Uh, she also is a water spirit uh, that want to get married. <laughs> and yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's it's a very cool art too. In most of the things here, uh, it's have a very nice pale color tone, very dead skin looking. <laughs> 
My mistake is a zombie too, or a vampire. But she's she's a water spirit. She's a water spirit. She can apparently make like a uh, various different water. Um, but the taste is basically it's like an RNG taste. It might be cursed. Uh, sometimes it's just like normal water or some type of uh, soda drink you never drank before. <laughs> really, really depends. It's a it's it's a very gacha water that she tried to create. So um, drink it in your own discretions. Yes, yes. <laughs> And then... Oh, then you say, leave everything to me. Um, the world most greatest D&D recycler, a necromancer. <laughs> <laughs> Karin Kishime as yeah, so, so again um, she have a actually very interesting um, character art design it's actually is a very tradition um, uh, tradition culture clothes in here if you guys don't know what it is you guys can drop into her channel uh, when she stream and ask about like what type of like culture clothing she's wearing a lot of people thought she just like a flat out princess actually it's not it's just that uh, uh, that particular clothing it kind of looked like having a tiara it's just it's just that but also is um, it have a lot of like culture meaning there so you guys uh, are interesting in that kind of stuff you can go to her channel and then have a little bit chat with her she should glad to like tell you lots of different type of things too and again yucks nothing can stop me until I reach my destiny. Ooh. Very shonen vibe. And yep. And it's a cool ass sword here. This is Takakatsuki from Project Orbit. As you already can see, she is a affiliated uh not affiliated, um they she uh but anyway, he is a A. Jin C VTuber, as you can see, is already stated here. It's not a indie VTuber, as most other, as you can see, is stated as an indie VTuber. And he is the Wanderer of Lost Heart. Ooh, very great title. And for me, it's the voice, voice, but still, a Wanderer of Lost Heart, huh? Hmm, 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 hmm. Mine's cooler. <laughs> And yeah, like this this is a very like nice art and everything, like the background and it's actually quite ma match up at least. It have a little bit cyberpunk look and a little bit um fantasy sword and uh, sword art like style <laughs> of sword. Um as an artist I can tell you uh, drawing this sword might be Yeah, this is a challenging sword draw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then let's move on to the next one too. Um, oh! Hey! Don't give up now! You're gonna get rusty! Yay! This is Fluffy Jam! Uh, I have trouble like to say her name in full. It's, 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 it's a... It's a difficulty for some reason. It's just like Fluffy Jam! I keep, I keep saying it this way. But either way, it's a crystal in the rough. So it's basically um, a very fluffy gem. <laughs> uh, uh, so she's artificial and have a pretty decent um, background here and um, Puro. <laughs> um, 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 um. It looked like a Digimon behind her. <laughs> yeah, it's still good, it's still good. Uh, very interesting uh, clothing design too. To be honest, like um, it's like a multi-layered jacket I can kind of see. You know, um... Hmm. Hmm. 
And again, like, uh, it's another, like, independent VTuber show. If anyone who is also, like, anyhow, like, interested in what they're doing, this and that, yeah, the other stuff, uh, you can try to find her and stuff, things like that. And she actually, I, do I have it on? Um, oh, this one, this one. Um, she recently actually have a special event going on too that is she's going to debut her new model uh huh You know where it's referencing from. <laughs> uh, this the, he has already said it. Uh, ZZ Inspire Model debut. Woo! When is this actually? August 11. Oh, August 11. Is it today? Oh, it's today. Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 Well, I missed it. <laughs> Um, anyone who watches this video, like, if you are right in the time, then just rush for it, I guess. Or anyone, uh, she's also, like, streaming YouTube too, so you can, you guys can go to her YouTube channel and watch it in her archive. If you guys manage to miss what, uh, miss this. And yeah, 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 yeah. And, of course, upward to the ne ne next. And... Is such a beautiful soul you have. Too bad it's mine now. <laughs> actually, voice wise is actually quite beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. So she is called. Uh, she her name is Nian Juna. And she is a. Oh, sorry, I have difficulty looking. Um, fate challenging. Oh, fate changeling. Mm. So basically, she's a fairy. A very, very big fairy. Now, uh, technically, um, do you guys know elf is also considered a fairy too? They, they just like it's the highest class of fairy in some, some of the fantasy depictions. Not every, okay? But. Quite a lot is literally depict them as like uh they they are actually similar to fairy class, um yeah yeah yeah. Wonder like uh how most fairy like in a lot of like fey type of like um stuff is like is in the, in there. Like many different type of story have different like uh diverse type of fairy stuff there, and yeah yeah. That's good. It's a nice pose. She's a marksman, which is not sure what she's going to shot at me. I uh, hope it's not like pull out like a Glock and then start shooting as a fairy, which is going to be very, very scary. <laughs> and ooh, Mago, Mago. Let's stay connected. Really expected. <laughs> um, again, like if if anyone didn't watch Alfie, she she basically obsessed with Mago. So, yeah, I kind of like expect you to actually say that. So it's Alfie versus Amatasia, Amatasia or Amatasia. Uh, depends on how you pronounce it. To be honest, like, um, she is the Divine oneness, as you guys already can see this. Um, she is an elf, a very powerful elf too. Hmm, hmm, and a very adorable voice. So, uh, again, if anyone who is interesting, what everyone I shown, don't worry, this will be coming into the comment sections. But I'm just going to like 
slap all the link into it so you guys do have to read a little bit okay <laughs> uh. and hello good day oh good idea you do I guess So this is Ayon Kaname. She is a immortal timekeeper. And then speaking about immortal timekeeper, where's the hourglass? <laughs> oh, we have one. Not you there. Hmm. Bad timekeeper. Maybe she's half in digi uh she she become much more hip and start digitizing stuff. She using smartphone nowadays or just like a very uh, pocket watch or something like that. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> but yeah, overall the art is like very good too. Um, the radiant glow, this and that, yeah, the stuff. Uh, everything is going on here. And oh, oh, I just realized she is a defenders. Hmm. And again, like that. There's a lots of like uh, people have like various different class. Uh, even I didn't mention it. You guys can already read it. Uh, I believe you guys are not blind. <laughs> and Yishuang, Yishuang is oh Nana. Beating me? I'd like to see you try. Not sure why. I always think Nana voice is super nice. But yeah, like it's it's a very like energetic um artwork. Also the fingers. Like you need to know this, like drawing hand is a very hard thing to do and I am impressed this from as an artist I am impressed of the hand. A lot. Very lot. Yeah. It's a, overall a very energetic artwork and she's a trickster. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, and Trickster and the Rogue. Ooh, such a match made in heaven. <laughs> and yeah, we have to moving along way more fast. As, holy heck, it's like 30 minutes. Just just doing this. I, I gap a little bit too much. Should I just skip it through? Zooming. Let's go zooming. Sit by the fire. It's nice and warm. Ooh. Ooh. Actually, it's a very cool art. Looks, hmm, common. Yes, very common. And she's a sorcerer too, so she basically will toss fireball at you. And be careful on any D and D scenario. Anything she does will just a fireball. <laughs> Uh, this is Nuri DX and is a the melancholic fire spirit. Ooh, sound a bit sad, but still. Oh, e ah ooh ah, I didn't read it all wrong. Hmm, 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 hmm. She didn't sound melancholic at all, to be honest. She is a very cheerful girl. If you go to watch the stream, you know. <laughs> And yeah, 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 yeah. Next. I need to. I need. I need to speed it up. <laughs> hey, you wouldn't happen to have any snacks on you, would you? <laughs> Ooh, it's a very cute art in it. I see here, yeah. but yeah, she she's wearing a hoodie. Not a mushroom, okay? <laughs> this is not a mushroom hat. Uh, at first, I also thought it was a mushroom hat, and then I was like, Hey, I know this VTuber, she's wearing a hoodie. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, this is a hoodie, okay? Okay, not a mushroom hat. But yeah, this is Kurisukoa Project Hikayat. And she's a Nian. Uh, if nobody know a lot about what Nian is, um, it's, it's a... It's a Nian Ling is... I, I'm not really sure what it is. It's not even called a dragon. It's like... 
it looks like a dragon, but they have the body of a lion. Just kind of take... Like, you know, like, when people doing, like, those, like, lion dance thingy? Yes, that is technically Indian Link. Um... Yeah, the, those things, those things. And the mythical creatures that we scared away using Firecracker. Not Firecracker, I think it's Firecracker. Yes, Firecracker. The color of red and Firecracker for some reasons, and then they are full red. <laughs> Uh, yeah, generally like that, generally like that. that that's, that's an interesting story on the creature on Nian, so you guys can uh, take a read about it. Um, also, yeah, do remember to pay attention to everyone here I show. Uh, if you guys uh, do want to watch what they kind of do, here you guys can see uh, she's called Kuritsukoa, this and that stuff, go to her channel, yada yada, I talk too much, I need to keep go, next. <laughs> and as you can see in here is Akirunon uh Akirunobu uh -huh. and <laughs> Ooh. 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 I oh, even go full stereo on this thing. Whoa. Okay. Um. Wow. 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 Very. very <laughs> I'm impressed <laughs> by the voice line. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I missed the opportunity to use full Japanese too. Ah. Oh, hmm. But I, I, I'm doing my like long ass opening, so uh, yeah, I, I took it as an opportunity to make some like jokes out of it. So yeah, it's it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. Am I, I am I in there? Hmm. If I'm not there, I'm just like will go to like seek myself out and then like play it. And you know, on the next one. Yeah. Ruin. She just went full Korean! <laughs> and yeah, 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 yep. As you already can see, this is Aozaaki Mina. I think uh, I think a lot of people are familiarized with who she is, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like this artwork that I actually seen it before, and when I take a look at it again, like this is a very, very um, good artwork for testing that where you are looking at like pictures. <laughs> like you know those kind of things, like they they scan your eyes, like where you're looking at. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> I know what. I know why you want to get a card. I know why you want to get a card. <laughs> and I'm moving on to the next. Might be the last one. Ooh, yes, it's me. Hello there, my name is Kira Baku, and I am your void with a voice, and I just realized I ran out of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I broke uh, I broke the fault wall just to to basically deliver this joke. I told them not to release my um video, only like uh put it like in smack down the middle or the end or something like that. So because like um they asked us to like record a quote for our characters, I'd be like I just talk a lot. I don't really have a quote. I'm literally called a void with a voice for a reason. I just keep yapping non-stop. And I'll be like, ah, I got a good idea. Just do my normal opening, but slightly slower. Because I can actually do my opening hyper fast. Hello everyone, my name is Gary Valkwood. I'm your voice with a voice, and I'm here to entertain you. And may or may not go off tangents. Like, literally, it's more than f uh, within 5 seconds. They want me to do like a 5 second quote. I'd be like, okay, I speak much more slowly, clearly. Oh shit, you ran out of time. <laughs> So yeah, they have a little bit fault wall breaking here, and I actually 
um, have this like particular like idea like everyone is uh, somewhat of a virtual clone uh, within this like uh, that that's a law in this game so it's like there's a virtual clone I think uh, for everyone uh, in here and then I really do want me to just me actually being there it's not because uh, it's not because like um, anything it's just that I felt bored and then find it's funny and then just go into there and do it myself <laughs> Self insert myself in there. <laughs> hey, everyone's having a party without me. <laughs> Those kind of things. Nah, you know, you know. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a very cool. It's a very cool art. Yeah. Actually, like, again, a uh, lot of people missing this, this thing. Like, the thing, like, right in me is like. In my chest is it's a galaxy, it's not even void. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I already showed everything, right? Yeah, I showed everything. Ah, oh, finally! Holy heck, this is a very long video. I might have to speed it up a little bit. Oh, wait, I cannot speed it up because I'm viewing people's stuff. Um, you know, um, yeah. This is going to be a very long hack uh, video. I might have to timestamp every single one so you guys can kind of like uh, skip me. <laughs> uh, yap too much. I, I really need to control my yapping. Who knows? Who knows? It's my signatures, okay? Me keep talking. You listen, okay? Besides, my voice is very nice, isn't it? And, of course, it's already at the end of the show. Let's see one of the much more interesting things that happens around me. That is like usually I have in my normal program. But um, there's so many things to show here. I already used up quite a lot of time. Uh, so I will just be showing this as the ending scene. <laughs> it's, it's basically Fuamoko like uh, have the 3D showcase within the year actually is, is it within the year I think it's faster than the year have that already been a year I don't think so but they already have 3D whoa <laughs> that 3D show is literally started WWE wrestling show in here <laughs> It's actually very interesting. You guys uh, should go to watch the archive version of it. It's it's very fun in there. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, yeah. Let's end up in this. Um, let's find like the particular highlight scene. Yep, this 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 is the best one. <laughs> anyway, yep. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, everyone. Stay healthy, stay safe. Until next time, stay tuned on the next stream. Bye-bye.